Cliff Hargrove. I'm the Appliance Technician for University Housing and Division of Campus Life. First thing I would like you to understand about the washers and dryers at Wolf Village is that they are all HE units, meaning they're high efficiency. By utilizing high efficiency washers and dryers, uh, we're actually being more economical for the university. The first thing you need to realize when you're, when you're using an HE washing machine is that it requires a special detergent. It's very critical that you use this because if you use normal detergent it will cause a over sudsing situation and the unit will not extract all the soap out of your clothes like it needs to. The second point if you've never done a lot of laundry is that you need to sort your clothes according to color. You want to try to avoid washing real heavy stuff with light stuff because it'll throw these units out of balance and then they will shut off. The next thing we want to talk about is your detergent cup dispenser which is this right here. You want to add your detergent in through this little assembly right here and it will be automatically dispensed into the washing machine. And this is also your bleach cup dispenser so you can add them both at the same time and it will automatically dispense both. This is your fabric softener dispenser. The key thing you need to remember is you don't want to pour straight fabric softener into the fabric softener cup. You want to use about a third fabric softener and dilute with two thirds water. Once you shut the door, you've got a couple of things, you options that you have. On your, on your washer timer dial, you have a regular fabric cycle, a delicate cycle, and a permanent press fabric cycle. If you're not 100% sure what cycle to use, always refer to your garment tag on the inside of your garment. Um, so let's say today we're doing towels, we're going to start that on the regular cycle. So we would start it, you could do either heavy or light, and then we'd come over here and choose our wash and rinse temperature. Today we're going to do cold cold, uh, because frankly uh, with the detergent technology that's available today, we really don't need to wash anything on hot cold or warm warm. The second thing, once we've selected our our wash and rinse temperature is to come over here and do our options button. If you have real sensitive skin that you might be sensitive to detergent and that sort of thing, you might want to do an extra rinse because what that'll do is ensure that more suds have come out of your clothes. It's kind of like a deep rinse. Um, you also have an end of cycle signal which will signal you to let you know when the cycle is done so that you can move the clothes to the dryer. Uh, that's very important here at, at Wolf Village because you do have roommates who also need to be able to utilize the washer and dryer. Um, the third feature on the option cycle is the Max Extract. I recommend using the Max Extract when you're doing towels or blue jeans or whites simply because it's a higher spin speed, it extracts more water out of the clothes which in turn means that it takes less time to dry in the dryer. One last consideration for the front load washing machine, if you forget a garment and need to add a garment, what you have to do is hit the stop button, open the washer, put the garment in and then start the washer again. Once the washer proceeds into the cycle, it's going to lock the door so that you cannot add any more garments to it. If at that point you need to add a garment, you still need to hit the stop button, allow the lock light to go out, add your garment, and then shut the door. Those are the basic features of the washing machine, and if you will follow those guidelines, you should have happy washing. The second feature that we're going to talk about is the dryer. Um, the key thing with the dryer is is to make sure that the lint filter stays clean. This should be clean between every load. Please do not allow it to build up because what will happen, it will increase your drying time and it will cause the dryer to overheat and that will be harsh on your clothes which will, which will cause the thread content in your, in your garments to break down and you won't get the longevity out of your clothes that you should. So once you've moved your clothes from the washer to the dryer, you have some basic selections. You can either do a regular 60 minute time dry or you can do a permanent press cycle or a regular cycle. Both these permanent press cycle and the regular dry are IntelliDry cycles. What that means is basically that the unit has a moisture sensor in there and when the clothes start to dry it will automatically sense the dryness content of the clothes and once those clothes are dry it will advance to the cool down cycle and cut off. Uh, once you have decided which cycle you want to use, you want to move over to the temperature cycle. You have basically four different options. You have an air fluff, delicate, medium, and regular. Uh, once again, towels and blue jeans, regular would be fine. For your delicates, you probably want to do a lower temperature delicate cycle. Once you have set everything up here, you want to make sure that your lint filter is clean again. You shut your door. 
and hit the start button. Thank you.